Ok, ok, ok. We are talking about Inter Milan here. Felipe Inzag is doing a madness. I don't know what is with the Italian coaches and three centre backs. But yeah, I think this is the 3 5 2 formation with Liverpool. So let's do this. I'm just here to tell you about the formation this is against Sampdoria. Like you can see it here. Okay, the mark will play this time. Gozens, I think Gozens is on injury, so they didn't put him. So it was Martinez and Zeko up front, then Kitaria, Shalanogu, and Barella in the middle. Shalanogu played like a CDM or a center midfield. Don't freeze on the right wing. Bastoni, Skene and the Veg, beautiful. So yeah, the 3 5 2 balance. Oh, okay, what does FIFA call it? <laughs> 3 1 4 2. Anyways, 3 1 4 2. Doesn't make sense to me. Oh, yeah. So, this is Italia for uh, Inter Milan formation. This is against uh, Sampdoria. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you on my screen like their movement and all. So, as for Martinez, now he was moving up and down. He was the one tracking back because Jeko is like the target man. If, if I'm going to put it that way. The target man, he can't run, so he can't fall back. So, this guy was the one going back and coming forward. The Marco now on the other wing. He's a fullback, he gets their job is to go forward and come back. Don't freeze to he was doing the same thing. And now Barella and Chalanoglu were the ones holding the midfield. Yeah, but Barella was overlapping. He was going front to score goals. He won't score in the game. Mkhitaryan was the attacking midfielder here. But then Martinez simply like an attacking midfielder in the game. So Mkhitaryan was going up and coming back. Barella had a free room, so he was everywhere he gets. Shalanoglu too was going up and coming down. These three back defenders are stagnant, but they are just moving side to side, you know. Upside, upside, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, that's the whole um, direction for the team. Then, as for the tactics and how they played, uh, I'm going to put a animation on my screen here. So when the ball is hit, the give it to Jeko. Jeko heading down to Martinez. Martinez can give it to Mkhitaryan, then Barella goes up front, leaving um, Chalanoglu up there, down there, sorry, and maybe he can shoot or pass the ball to the strikers. The only time they passed the ball was when they were very sure. You can see it here again, Chalanoglu giving the ball to Barella again. They use long balls. Note, they really use long balls. You get their wing backs and midfielders feeding them long balls. You can see now they're giving to Martinez playing as the attacking midfielder. Martinez can score it to Jeko and Jeko will score or give it to Barella. So Barella was really up front, up front. Now you see this place too. Barella and um, Shalanoglu switching it to their wing backs from the right and left and then crossing it to their center forwards. So this is how Inter Milan played and they are really good um, with set pieces. So yeah, this is how they beat Sampdoria. Um, the formation is 3 one 4 2, okay? Tactics now is balanced. Their width wasn't wide like that because they are playing a three formation, so they had to like stay in the middle. That middle, that midfield was the key to their victory. Um, the depth was not really high. Why say it was high? Let's just leave it at 60. Then it was long balls and forward runs, so like they are making a lot of long balls and forward runs. Um, the width is wide, players in the box. There are like a lot of players in the box. That's why they are scoring headers and winning headers. Um, free kicks too, the same thing. There are a lot of players in the box. There are instructions now. Martinez was, wasn't the target man. He was force nine. Jeko was the target man here. Barella was the one that was going up front. So, I was getting forward making Mkhitaryan, but he was also balancing the attack. So, how do I even put it? He was also staying back. He gets was sticking to his position and he was covering the center. Shalanoglu too was sticking to position and he was covering the center too. Mkhitaryan was the attacking midfielder here so you can see he was getting forward. Dimarco on the other hand he was coming back on defense and going up. <coughs> um, Don't freeze too coming back on defense so this whole midfield line although these wing backs are not really midfielders but they are also part of the midfield. They didn't go up front if they are not really sure um yeah the three center backs we all know what they are doing they are just keeping their position and maintaining it so yeah that's for inter